Focus on me. 
love the way you listen You know all my details You're so damn attentive You got my attention, babe Can't forget to mention, babe I'ma keep you lifted You so f gifted Ladies and gentlemen, I am still going to invite you to stand as we invoke God's presence in this place as we're about to begin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come into this place this afternoon on a joyous occasion. This reminds us of the first incident that you perform in the Garden of Gethsemane, in the Garden of Eden. And here this afternoon, this gentleman and this woman has come to join themselves together to be one. We pray, God, that your divine presence will be here with us this evening and that these proceedings will bring glory to your name. May everything that takes place here this evening, Lord, you will bless. Tabernacle here with us for the few minutes that we shall be performing this ceremony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We have gathered here this afternoon in this very solemn occasion. It reminds us in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18 where God said it is not good for a man to be alone. So what he did, he allowed Adam to fall asleep. And if you read the scripture and you go home, you will recognize that he didn't take a bone from his head, nor from his hand, nor from his feet, but he took it from his rib. And he took it from the rib that covers the heart. And as Adam woke up, he recognized that something strange has happened. He saw someone who looked like him, although they were different in gender. And he was able to say, this is bone of my bones and flesh. Of my flesh. So, because I am the man, then therefore she must be the woman. And God joined them together in the Garden of Eden. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 9, it declares there that two is better than one. What does the text say? Is this? Because sometimes it is uncomfortable to come home to find an empty house. It is uncomfortable to sleep lonely in a bed all by yourself. It is uncomfortable to sit at a dinner table and to eat all by yourself. So that's why the text says two is better than one. The text didn't stop there. It went on to say that if two is better than one, then both can make fire. Now, everybody, if you want to have somebody who they love and care about, at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're going home to a lovely home. As a matter of fact, you will push, try to even push the hours of the day because you want to go home to the one who you care about and who you love. Home should be one of the most glorious place. If you find yourself that you don't want to go home, then something is wrong. 
should be the glorious place that you want to go home to be with the one who you love. Not only that, but home should be a place where you are both comfortable. And so I go back to the text. The text says, when two is in the bed, it creates heat, and heat makes fire. Oh. Two in the bedroom make fire. But you can't just make fire and leave it. You have to sustain the fire. You have to keep the fire burning. You have to make sure that the fire, the flame of the fire keep burning. And not only one person, because this is what the text says. Two is better than one. So the both of you have to maintain this fire that you have started. Doesn't mean that because you, in a few minutes from this, I will declare you husband and wife and that everything is all right. And then you come home to find a whole lady instead of a young woman who he marries. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you're going to go to bed with some curlers in your hair and wear some 18th century nighties and what of you, <laughs> you have to keep the fire and the flame burning. Because lest you don't know that somebody outside will light your fire for you if you're not keeping your fire, if you're not maintaining your fire at home. It so happens that to keep the fire burning, now because that she's now your wife, you refuse from bringing some flowers home when you're coming home. Now because she's wife, now you feel that if you get home early, then she would have to come home and cook because that's her responsibility. But the responsibility of the home depends on both. Depends on the two of you. I also want to mention that never you try to compare, because as of this evening, as of this evening, Sister Simpson, Brother Simpson, who has been my best friend for years, as of this evening, mm. Mommy and Daddy is not in the picture anymore. Mm. You don't compare her cooking with Mommy and Daddy's cooking. Mm. Even if the rice burn up, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no comparison, because it's create havoc in the home. No comparison. Never you go to bed at night being angry with each other. And let me say this. As a pastor, and I've done this several times, no marriage is ever perfect. Because you will never be Keturah, and Keturah will never be you. You will always be the same person that you are, even though the Bible says that the two are joined together to make one. But we have to figure out what does the scripture means by that. She can change you and you can change her. And you must never try to change each other. <coughs> you try to compromise because you love each other. So even though you may not want to go to the supermarket, but she said, Honey, let's go to the supermarket to make her feel happy. Then you compromise and do that. Marriage is just, just about you having a big reception and bringing in, because after today, all of these folks are gone. You both going home together. You must be going home to a house that is filled with the presence of God. You must always make sure that the only third person in this marriage is the Lord. Amen. Only. And I underline the word only. Only third person is the Lord. You will have misunderstanding. But that doesn't mean that you cannot comply with your misunderstanding. And as we have spoken in our counseling session, <laughs> you will know that I went straight forward. So you will have it. 
Well, because you love each other, you will compromise with each other. Never run to tell mommy what is going on at home. Now, never run to tell dad of what is going on at home. Whatever happens within your marriage, try to smooth the rugged path. If you can't, then you find a counselor. Because brother and sister Simpson is going to take Jeremy's side. Mm. Mommy and daddy is going to take your side. And there's no compromising with each other. Marriage is something that you have to coordinate. It's not about you anymore, but it's about us. It's not about I am going to do this, it's about we are going to do this. Marriage also, the principles of marriage is communication, trust, and honesty. If you can't communicate, you have to you have the right right now to even let go and say, no, I'm giving up this because I haven't even vowed you yet. <laughs> well, you have to be willing to communicate. Communicate is the key to your marriage life. And as long as you can communicate with each other, you will, or you will be able to overcome some of the obstacles or the hurdles that you are facing. If you refuse to communicate with each other, I'm sure none of you have a crystal ball, so you can look in there to figure mm -hmm. out what the other one is thinking. Mm -hmm. So you have to communicate. You have to be honest mm -hmm. in your dealings. You don't have no secret bank account hiding around that she don't know about. And she don't have a secret one that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. But you do know what is going on in the both of your life. Honesty. Okay? Trust. You should be able to know that you leave all the way to California and you come back just to the same journey you left before. Mm. You should know the same thing. You should be able to trust. Because I can say this, when trust is broken, it is the hardest thing to repair. Hardest thing. I'm not saying you can't repair, but it is the hardest thing to repair. So I call upon you both this evening that you will understand what is the ground of marriage. And as I said before, in our counseling session, we have gone through some of the things that I am expecting that you will carry out in your marriage. Thank you, sir. Is it on? I have instructed you on a few things that you need to do when you leave this place this afternoon. Therefore, if anyone have any objection that these two shall not be joined together, speak now or forever after this moment, hold your peace. All right, Master Jeremy, nobody have anything to say? No. So they tell me I can go on. Yeah. I require and charge you both, as you shall answer in the day of judgment, when the secret of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any cause or impediment why you should not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, you do now confess. For otherwise, for be it no assured that any who are coupled together otherwise than as God's word does allow them to be joined together by God, neither is their marriage lawful. Who gave it this woman to be married to this man? Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Jeremy, you're going to say after me, <clears throat> I call upon these persons here present. I call on these persons present. Here present. Here present. 
to witness. And I, Jeremy Simpson. I, Jamie Simpson. To take the. To take the. Katora. Katora. Reed. Reed. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. Forsaking all other women. Forsaking all other women. Keep thee only. Keep thee only. As long as I both shall live. As long as I both. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And here too. And here too. I pledge you. I pledge you. My love. My love. All right. You will be ready. Mm -hmm. You will say the same thing. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Katora Reed. That I, Katora Reed. Do take you, Jeremy Simpson. Do take you, Jamie Simpson. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have unto hold. To have unto hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And here too. And here too. I pledge you. I pledge you. My love. My love. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. For as Jeremy and Kethura has vowed to each other their love and their commitment as a minister of the gospel, I now present them as husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your holy presence this evening to join this man and this woman to be one. I pray, God, that as they leave this place, that this marriage will be a role model to those they come in contact with. May they love springs like living water. May their love flourish. God, I pray for the years that for the years of prosperity, the years of blessing upon this marriage. And Father, pray like you have done to Job as you have built a hedge around him, that you will build a hedge around this marriage. And Father, when all is said and done, they too may be entered into your everlasting kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen and amen. You do, just like your sign it so that they can take pictures of it. Okay. Okay. All right. So you come first. All right. Just hold the pen. Go over here. Go over here so they can take a picture of you. Just hold the pen. <laughs> <laughs> like right. your sign it. Yeah, just, just hold the pen. Okay. okay. All right. Then you're going to come and do the same. Just hold that. Okay, so, um, it goes in the center. oh, okay, so, Ma Jeremy, Victoria, mm. you can notice that in my hand, a pair of rings. You will notice also that <coughs> this ring has no beginning 
and it has no end. That's what your marriage life is going to be. No beginning, no end. It's just a whole circle. And you're going to keep it just like that. You have declared this evening that you are now going to be Master Jeremy of your whole house, <laughs> along with your beautiful bride. And uh, I am positive that the Spirit of the Lord will continue to direct your path because you're going to ask him to. You're not going to lean to your own understanding and ways for the view, but you're going to ask him to direct your path mm -hmm. as you go from day to day, from month to month, from years to years. And he promised that he will do that. Just bow your head with me as I prayed over these two emblems before I allow them to use it. Heavenly Father, here are two emblems which signifies, God, that, these, that this couple has been joined together as husband and wife. May God, each time that they looked at these emblems, they will understand the vows that they have taken here this afternoon. They will respect the vows and respect each other. Father, we pray that your blessings would be upon it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So I want you to find our hand. And I want you to take your own time to massage your finger. <laughs> Ask her if you feel good. Don't look at me. No. <laughs> Ask her if it feel good. I feel all right. Finger. Amazing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> See? Yeah, no. Think it feel good? I think so. All right. So I'm going right. to start. All right. Here. And the rest of it, you're going to say after me. Ketura. Ketura. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As an emblem. As an emblem and a token and a token of my love of my love and also my commitment and also my commitment in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Spirit and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now you're gonna find this. <coughs> you have to take time with it. Oh, you you know you have to take make sure mm -hmm. you massage him and make him feel good. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to start here, and you're going to say the same thing. Jamie? Jamie. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And my commitment. And my commitment. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you can trust me. You're not going to kiss? <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh. You see the, 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 the man ready to show you what he was doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, as I often say, that when I perform wedding, it's, it's ironic that you always give the marriage certificate to the ladies. And I, I, I start to wonder, why? Why not the man? And then I, you know, do some research and realize that this is Keturah's title to Jeremy. So she keeps the title. Anyway, she find him in the wrong place, all she have to do is just pop out the title. Mm, you know, it's a pleasure this evening, ladies and gentlemen, that I have the pleasure of introducing to you for the first time and the newest couple in the state of New Jersey, Mr. and Mrs. Reed. Oh, sorry. Good. I'm, I'm so glad to see your quickie say to tell me. All right. So let me correct myself. Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. All right. So, so. so, ladies and gentlemen, we want Jeremy to show us what he used to do in the dark. We want Jeremy to show us. Okay. Uh, this is the first time we're going to see that. 
and maybe you won't see it again, right? So I am, I am quite sure that he took a lot of practice in the dark. So now, 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 I want you to face your wife. All right? Go a little bit closer, Nana. And no, 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 no. I just, just, just follow my direction. I want you to start from the hip coming all the way up. Hold her down from the hip coming all the way up. Pull her all the way up to you, all the way up, and show us the way you used to do in the dark. All right. Uh, can we stand together as we pray? And congratulations, sir. Give me the right hand. Congratulations, sir. And congratulations, madam. And my blessings and prayers goes with you. Evently, Father, we thank you this evening for your presence being here with us. We thank you these two has joined themselves together. Lord, as they leave this place, may they leave with your presence and continue that your presence will be with them in their marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. When everybody you know say me love you bad When everybody you know say me love you bad Girl a pretty life Tony and sing With me angel with all the two wing yeah. When you raise me darling Make me feel like I love me falling yeah. Bend over upon the railing Bad man I turn you like a steering wheel Me love you like me savings Yeah no like to the talk, but I can feel my mind feeling up when you just start wine for me now. I hear your body telling me, say you want me. Fly you over the seas, put your body and feet in the sun. When you see, when you see, go believe. When you see, I'm go be like 3D cinema. So clear, your body close to me. Because you're my angel, no wings, you're going nowhere. You've got something I'm into. I go do put me something into you and let it do. Girl, a pretty life, Tony and sing. Give me angel with all the two wing, yeah. When you raise me, darling, make me feel like I love me falling, yeah. Bend over upon the railing, bad man, I turn you like a steering wheel. Me love you like me savings, yeah, yeah. Wind up your body. Wine pan it, wine pan it, yeah Now nah, if you're lonely You know a jam will say me love you always Wine up your body See down pan me like one of your favorite chairs Wine up your body I'm gonna make you my wife one of these days I know what you want Make some noise, make some noise, make some noise. I go on and on. Make some noise. I must have superpowers, rap 225,000 hours. Get a calculator, do the math. I made a thousand songs that made you move yet. And for the last 300 months, I made 16 albums with me on the front. And they bump. When you get your beats, I heard 93 rappers say, like me. Do what that. Do what that. Do what that. Turn it up. Turn it up. Do what that. Hey. Set the mood. Set the mood. Yeah. Set the mood. Yeah. Set the mood. Ah. See that. Hey. Dirt. 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 Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have waited for. So I'm going to ask you to rise from your seat as we welcome into this place this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Bring your Hey. Hello. 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 Hello.
Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Let me hear. Come on. Put your hands together. A couple went out for dinner. And uh, when the dinner was served, they realized, the woman realized that she forgot her teeth at home. So she sat beside a gentleman. She said, oh my God. And the man said, what happened? He said, I forgot my teeth at home. So the man pushed his hand into his pocket. And he brought up a pair of teeth and said, why don't you try this? She popped it in her mouth and realized that. He said, no, 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 this one is a little bit too big. Can't use it, can't work. So hand it back to him. Gave him, popped it, hand it to his pocket, popped up another. Gave it and said, try this one. She tried it, she said, no, 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 no. This one can't work either. Gave her a third set. She said to her, all right, this set will work. So I turned to the man and said, Thank you very much, sir. You must be a good dentist. The man said, no, madam. I am an undertaker. So she gave that his teeth them from all the dead people that they undertake. All right. Church was in session, and the pastor said, we are going to have prayer meeting, and we're going to have a testimony service. 
So, Miss Mary jumped up out of her seat and said, Pastor, I will testify first. Well, Miss Mary and Miss Jane have not spoken to each other for about 12 years. So Miss Mary said, I'm going to sing a song for my testimony. And the pastor said, go ahead and sing your song. And she started to sing. Will there be any star, any star on my crown? And Miss Mary jumped up and said, no, not one. No, not one. At this time, we're going to have a toast. And the first toast will be given by the best man. Ah, put your hands together for the best man. Come on, let me hear you. Let me hear you. Put your hands together for the best man. So the other day, well, we, thank you all for coming and being here and coming together um, to watch Jamie and Katura in this union. It's a beautiful thing to see all these faces in support of two young people trying to build a life together. Thank you again. Uh, Katura. <laughs> Don't cry. I love you. I prayed for you every night. You was in mommy's stomach. I watch you blossom into a beautiful young woman. I see everything in you. I've seen just the love you give to everybody, how your friends, your family light up when you're around, how Jamie looks. And and starts skin and teeth <laughs> when he see you. Um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the woman that you become. I, I bless y'all union. I hope that um, y'all have everlasting love. I know Jamie can't wait to put a baby in <laughs> You can start tonight now, Jamie. <laughs> I know you wanted to do it for a long time, but you had to put a ring on it first. <laughs> Um, I love you guys, and I wish you all the best. Um, tonight, don't break no beds or backs. <laughs> Hello. And again, I would just like to thank everybody for coming out, okay? Love you guys. Thank you. Love you. Woman married, an 80-year-old woman, married four times. She married when she was 20 years old. She married when she was 60 years old. Uh, no, she married when she was 20 years old. She married when she was 40 years old. She married when she was 60 years old. And she married when she was 80 years old. So the question was asked. First, she married to a banker. Then she married to a ringside um, professor. Then she married to... Uh, mortician and she married to a pastor so the question was asked why did you marry to these men and choose them he said well the banker is for the money I hear, clap again let me hear you <laughs> the banker is for the money the ringside manager was for the game the the, the ringside manager was for the game. And the, um, the pastor is for um, the instruction. And the mortician is for the time of her death. We don't want that to happen here this evening. Because we know that this marriage is going to last forever. So put your hands together for the bride and groom. Sorry, y'all, I had to, I had some written, so I wanted to, I didn't want to, I wanted to read what I had. So it's important that I had this. Um, so the first thing is, the reason why I wrote it in here, this is my journal that I keep, and so I felt like uh, getting this first opportunity to read a speech as a best man is something I want to remember and for Jamie to look back on when he wanted to ask me what I said. So I thought it was a good idea to write it in this journal. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Jamie's cousin. 
I'm sure most of you knew that. But honestly, we grew up more than cousins. We were brothers. We are brothers. From giving trouble in J.C. Penny and giving those security guards a run for their money <laughs> to throwing spitballs at people's houses in Jamie's neighborhood. I remember one time making up every reason to sleep over at my aunt's house. I remember one time Jamie and I were jumping up and down on his bed and I fell down and I hit my head on his wall and it made a dent. So knowing how Jamie's parents are, I did not want Jamie to get in trouble with this dent in the wall. So what did I do? Jamie was so afraid he was going to get in trouble, so I planned that day that I was going to sleep over his house. I knew my dad had some plaster for the wall in the basement. I was very strategic what I did. <laughs> Listen to the logic. So I cried, and I made a story for my mom to bring me over, and she did. And all that just to help him fix that spot with the plaster so he doesn't get in trouble, and more so, just to get a chance to chill with my brother one more day. When I was with Jamie, there was a lot of laughter when we were young, full of adventure, and creating havoc everywhere we went. It was a judgment-free zone, agree to get, disagree at moments, intense video game battles, and competitive sports play outside. No matter what we did, it was always a good time. Jamie and I rarely fought. We maybe had one physical fight and some disagreements, but we always came together in the end. And that's what I imagine your marriage will be like. The man that you're marrying is a passionate guy. He stands by what he says. You know that. And he will fight you to the end, right? A man will argue you down. But, but at the end of the day, what that will look like, that marriage should look like for you guys, full of laughter, new adventures, creating havoc everywhere you go, a judgment-free zone, I hope, agree to disagree in moments, intense um, competitive moments. You will have disagreements, but in the end, you will always come back together. I can always give you advice and give you the do's and don'ts of marriage based on my experience, but I'm not. The way you define marriage is the way you, Jamie, and you, Katora, define marriage. It doesn't matter what I tell you or what anyone else tells you. Your marriage is how you all define it. The one thing I will say is no matter what you guys face, God needs to be always in the center of your marriage. So with that, I want to toast to life, to love, to happiness, and prosperity. Sorry. One more thing. I'm sorry, y'all. One more thing. So, I am the best man, but what I did for you, Katora and Jamie, I wanted to make sure the real best man really got a chance to tell you how he really felt. So with that being said, here's a video.
You can do a better job than that. Put your hands together again. Okay. Um, I know you have spent a long day, long afternoon, long evening, and everybody wants to just free up yourself and feel at home, get yourself something to eat. So at this time, I'm going to ask that you just bow your heads where you are. We're going to ask God's blessing on the food, and then they will take it from here. Heavenly Father, thank you again for being in this place, for this happy moment we're having here, for Mr. and Mrs. Simpson, for all of us who have gathered here this evening to share this joy with them. We ask now, Father, that you will bless the meal that has been provided, bless the hands who have made the provision, and may be beneficial to our bodies as we partake of it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, behalf on the Simpsons, me and my wife, Katora. Me and my wife, Katora Simpson, with a capital S, we would like to thank each and every one Say it with your chest. for forwarding to our event. I hope everybody full joyed themselves because I don't enjoy, I full joy everything. Right? Me and Katora, we worked very hard on uh, planning everything. Um, we did the best we could, and I would like to say I think it turned out okay. Um, I would like to say I think it turned out okay. Um, and I, I'm, I didn't mention my, this is not my new daughter, but my old, Kaylin been calling me daddy from a long time. You know what I mean? So, you know, so on top of my, my daughter as well. The Simpsons, we would like to thank everybody for coming to the event, the venue. Um, I don't know if the clock on my, um, my watch is correct, but I don't know how much time we have, but the remainder of the time, I would like everybody to full of joy themselves and everybody that don't, that everybody that can move their body, I want something moving, whether their shoulder, their neck, their foot, their head, their ear, their something, their finger, something have to move to the beat. Don't move off beat though. Just to the beat. All right? Remember the bar is, um, the bar is still open. It's an open bar. Just Take care of yourself. Make sure, because I don't know who or who is driving back. So just make sure you're safe. And you watch over yourself. Watch over the person behind you. Say a little prayer. And go on your way safely. Again, the Simpsons would like to thank you for attending our event. Thank you so much. I don't know if my wife would like to say anything. But I think I said a lot.
I just wanted to say that I love you all deeply. Thank you to each and every single person who contributed and showed up and showed out for us today. I honestly cannot thank you enough. I'm so grateful in my heart. And I am, you know, just overwhelmed with joy to be joined with this family. And my husband. Thank you to my husband. But most importantly, I'd like to thank the Lord for bringing me on this journey and for bringing you all with me. Special shout out to my sister Kezia. Riches to me because when I get the riches, you get the riches and I owe you a Birkin bag. Okay, a Birkin bag couldn't pay you back. And if you know Birkin, you know Birkin is expensive. Okay, for the remainder of the reception, I pray that you all enjoy the rest of your time. And shout out to every single vendor who came through, all the way through for us. Every single one was black. You know, I love my black people. Yeah. I love everybody. I spread love to everybody, but it was really important to me to hire black vendors for our winning. So I just wanted to say thank you all so very much for attending. And I think it's about 9.40. We've got about 20 minutes left. And y'all know me. If y'all know me, y'all know I like to turn up. So we finna turn up. Okay. <laughs> okay, real quick. I think they, I think they want to see a kiss. That's why they top in that glass. And they ran away. Okay. All right, ready? One, two, everybody get their flash. Boom, come on. All right, so here we go. So here we are. Here we're going to go. Mr. Simpson's is going to go first. Going to take a piece of the cake. With your hand. With your hand. Come on, 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 come on,